In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We'll talk very briefly about the great Wednesday of the Holy Week. This particular day was so special. Our Lord Jesus Christ had a rest. He is resting, getting ready for the great events that may happen on Thursday and Friday. Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to reading the Bible and the Fathers, he spent the day in Bethany, um, where he stayed most likely in the house of Lazarus and his sisters, as well as he went to Simon's, Simon the leper's house, he stayed there. The reading starts um, on the first hour that we read about the conspiracy of the Jews, the Pharisees, and the chief priests, and their envy was fulfilled. They wanted to kill our Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, they were really discussing how they would do that. On the third hour, it describes us what's happening with Judas, uh, when he really wanted to uh, complete the work and uh, spoke to the uh, chief priest and uh, the uh, Pharisees on how he would surrender Jesus to them. That's why in many churches they call this uh, conspiracy Wednesday or spy Wednesday, because that reflects how much uh, the Jews and uh, the Pharisees uh, were planning to uh, kill our Lord Jesus Christ and to surrender him. On the sixth hour, uh, the Gospel of the Sixth Hour explains to us a bit more about Judas' personality and refers us back to the story that happened on Saturday after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead after four days. And uh, on that event, when Lazarus, uh, they had a celebration in the evening, and uh, Mary, the sister of Lazarus, uh, brought a very expensive oil, poured on Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. And uh, the event that happened in particular when Judas uh, was kind of complaining, why would that be waste? Why would you waste this su such money? And he complained about this event that happened. Um, that shows us that he uh, was not really caring actually for the money, but as the Bible said that he was a thief. He takes from the money that was given or kept for the poor. But he was complaining why this money would not be given to the poor rather than to be uh, poured on Jesus' feet. This is part of, of Judas' personality, the betrayer. On the ninth hour, the paradox is very clear. The Bible and the church wisely putting to us two personalities who are very uh, different from each other. Uh, Judas Iscariot against a woman, a sinful woman, who went to Simon the leper's house and uh, brought again oil and poured the oil on Jesus' head. And uh, the sincerity and honesty and loyalty that was given by that repented woman compared to the disciple who have seen the greatest miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, putting this in front of us uh, that we see and we judge by ourselves and where we stand are we loyal to our Lord Jesus Christ or we are betrayers as we every time that we sin um, and every time we are dishonest with our Lord Jesus Christ, we are symbolizing the betrayer, Judas. The last hour, which is the 11th hour, is explaining to us that very difficult time of our Lord Jesus Christ, the psychological sufferings. The Bible explained to us how he was agonized um, over what will happen and how we'd see while he is in Bethany, he can see the betrayal and the plan, the conspiracy is happening between Judas and the Pharisees and scribes. And uh, Jesus was really kind of uh, in psychological pain, which was not, much, was not less at all than his physical pain that he suffered on Friday. These are briefly the events that happened on Wednesday. They're all while Christ was resting in Bethany, but all the events were happening in the background and Christ was feeling this and uh, giving us a, a kind of an insight of this uh, paradox between the sinful woman who is sincere, loyal, uh, repenting compared to Judas Iscariot, the disciple who been with Christ for that number of years, have w witnessed these great miracles, yet did not believe. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.